Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, so in the previous uh, videos related to optoelectronics, we discussed about uh, the optical phenomena of reflection and refraction. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the other optical phenomena uh, of diffraction and interference. Only the basic things, okay. We will not uh, get into detail just the basic things which are required to understand which will be uh, which will be uh, used in uh, when we go in detail about uh, the study of optoelectronics okay so the first thing is diffraction the basic definition is uh, it is the phenomena of bending of light or the change in the direction or path of light when it uh, strikes an obstacle or any obstruction in its path okay so what happens is that you might have seen that when light strikes an obstacle and its shadow is formed the edges of the shadow are always a little bit blurry okay a little bit fuzzy okay the edges of the shadow are always a little bit fuzzy okay not that prominent not that clear so that happens because of the phenomena of diffraction of light around the ends okay when light bends around the edges of the obstruct uh, the obstruction okay the obstacle any object the edges Around the edges of that object, light undergoes diffraction and it creates a fuzzy or blurry shadow. So, let us try to understand it. Suppose we have uh, this simple uh, demonstration where we have a light source. Then we have a obstruction in the form of a, a screen with a wide opening. Okay. So what happens is that it acts as an obstruction here, an obstacle. So light, when it passes through this opening, around the edges of this opening, okay, around the edges of this opening, there is bending of light. So as a result of that, when its shadow is formed, let's say on a screen placed at some distance away from it, the edges of this shadow they are not prominent okay it's not clear it's always a little bit blurry okay it will always be a little bit blurry a little bit fuzzy kind of shadow around the edges okay because diffraction happens around these edges as a result of that the edges of the shadow it's always a little bit blurry similarly here the blurriness the fuzziness is uh, less uh, prominent okay you cannot uh, you cannot uh, make out just by seeing that the edges are blurzy, uh, fuzzy because the opening is wide okay it's a big opening but when we decrease the size of the opening when we get a narrow opening okay in that case the fuzziness around the edges it increases okay so the narrower the opening the greater the fuzziness of the shadow because of greater diffraction the greater of the degree of diffraction is more okay so here the shadow is more fuzzier as compared to this it is a wide opening uh, diffraction is less fuzziness of shadow around the edges is also less here the opening is narrow uh, diffraction is more around the edges as a result the shadow is more fuzzy more fuzzy it's more blurry around the edges okay now we are not going to go into detail but just uh, we should understand we should know that there are uh, two types of uh, diffraction which is uh, defined by the three most important things involved in the process of diffraction which is the light source okay the obstacle and the screen their locations determines what type of diffraction is taking place so there are two types of diffraction it is divided into two classes first one is the fresnel diffraction 
and the second one is the Fraunhofer diffraction. So there is a lot of uh, mathematical derivation, a lot of analysis that goes into each of these two types of diffraction, but they are not required. We will be discussing them in the optics section. Okay, uh, it belongs to optics, the physics part. So it will not be that much required in optoelectronics, but when it will be required, if any mathematical equation comes up, I will explain it. So just for now, you understand that diffraction is of two types, Fresnel diffraction and Fraunhofer diffraction. So in Fresnel diffraction, either the source or the screen, okay, they are located at finite distance from the obstacle. Okay, if either this light source or this screen is uh, at finite or both of them are located nearby or close to the obstacle, then Fresnel diffraction, the type of diffraction that takes place, it is called as Fresnel diffraction. And Fraunhofer diffraction happens when both the source and the screen or one of them is located at infinite distance from the obstacle. Okay, so Fresnel, both the source and the screen or one of them is at close distance close proximity to the obstacle in Fraunhofer uh, both the light source and the screen or one of them is located at infinite distance or far away distance from the obstacle this obstacle in between okay so this is uh, about diffraction okay we have discussed the basic concepts we have not gone into detail about it just to give you an idea about what diffraction is so that when we use this term when I use this term in upcoming video lectures you don't get you just have an idea okay this is diffraction and okay this is what is happening so next topic uh, is the superposition of light waves and interference because uh, the phenomena of interference happens because of superposition of light waves so what is interference so when uh, two light waves or multiple light waves uh, more than two light waves they interact okay the resultant amplitude okay is actually the sum of the amplitude of the two individual waves this is what is called as superposition of light waves the resultant amplitude the, uh, the amplitude of the resultant wave is the sum or addition of the amplitude of the two individual waves so this is called as the principle of superposition of light waves and this, this phenomena when it happens is called as interference okay so it is actually the modification in the distribution of light energy obtained by the superposition or adding of two individual or multiple individual light waves so when this happens there is a distribution there is a change in the intensity of light the intensity or the brightness or uh, the brightness of the light wave is affected so this gives us two types of interference one is constructive interference and the other one is destructive interference it all uh, revolves around the change in the light intensity okay so first let us discuss about constructive interference so what happens is that let us say we have two light waves which are both identical okay they are both identical they uh, achieve their crest and trough at the same time so when these two light waves identical light waves they combine together it results in a increase in the amplitude of the resultant light wave which is called as reinforcement the, the resultant amplitude it increases both the peaks positive and negative peaks or the crest and the trough they both are enhanced they are reinforced destructive interference happens well it's a kind there are two types of destructive interference one is when both identical waves they are identical in terms of their amplitude but when one is undergoing the positive half cycle the other one is in its negative half cycle or you can say when one achieves its crest, other one achieves its trough. That is when one achieves the positive peak, other one achieves the negative peak. 
when one achieves the negative peak other one achieves the positive peak so when this type of i do identical but opposite light waves they interact it results in complete cancellation of the light wave okay complete cancellation okay no output and another one type is uh, both uh, are uh, different in terms of their amplitude also in terms of their uh, half cycles okay this is a positive to negative half cycle this is a negative to positive half cycle also their intensity their amplitude is different so the resultant wave it has a reduced amplitude okay it said it is a, it has a re reduced amplitude okay this is called as partial cancel cancellation this also falls under destructive interference so what it gives us so when two light waves they are in the same phase and constructive interference happens it gives us a bright area okay a bright area and when two light waves interact and destructive interference happens then it gives us a dark area two light waves this this case this case this case gives us this dark fringe or dark area and uh, this case uh, constructive interference it gives us this a bright area and any such interference in between gives us shades of gray okay in between white and black all the shades that are present it it happens because of destructive interference or constructive interference of different degrees okay anything in between okay anything in between it will give us shades of gray okay so constructive interference it gives us this constructive interference it gives us a bright spot destructive interference it gives us a dark spot a dark area and anything in between of this nature in varying degrees it will give us shades of gray spots okay so this is uh, the basic concept of interference i have not gone in detail about the various uh, other things okay about the fresnel fraunhofer diffraction or uh, about the huygens double slit experiment to uh, understand interference because those are not needed right now it will only uh, confuse uh, confuse you more and more because those are not required in uh, optoelectronics just the basic things are required okay so if uh, there will be any uh, such uh, need okay any such mathematical equation will come up which will require to understand the other things associated things i will uh, i will explain in detail so here right now we should just understand the basic concepts associated with uh, the various optical phenomena just to have a good idea about them so here we have uh, discussed about uh, the phenomena of diffraction and uh, interference okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much